What do we got in here today, honey? Uh, my uncle's old Evan Rude. Yeah, Uncle Stevie's old Evan Rude 1973 Trailblazer. Now, what's the rundown on this thing, Jim? Uh, RC35Q, which is a rotary combustion, 35 horsepower, quiet flight trailblazer. Well, that's a mouthful. <laughs> <laughs> RC, rotary combustion, 35, 35 horse. Q, because it's cute. No. <laughs> It's very cute, but it's it's quiet tech, I guess. So this thing's got like a, I had a quick look and it does have like a muffler to be on a car under there. So this thing's got a rotary in it. I've never messed around with one of these. Uh, it's gonna be interesting. Stevie's had this for years. You know, uh, he found it in the bushes of a, what was it, a cottage or something? Friend's cottage. Yeah, <laughs> over 40 years ago. So uh, this thing's a survivor. She's pretty mint looking. Needs a little bit of love on the seat. Although Christina, she's falling in love with that. <laughs> it's got the good red green seat on there. <laughs> oh, duct tape patching her up. Pretty cute. So we're going to uh, recover the seat on this thing. Uh, we got to put a battery in it. Uh, what else are we going to do? Give it a cleaning. And hopefully, once it's all said and done, we get this thing up and running. We're going to race it. <laughs> <laughs> Jim's cleaning the carburetor for the sixth time, seventh time. <laughs> we had it up at the... The radar runs up at the trailer park and uh, she left me stranded once or twice there. So uh, needs another carb clean. He's a pro at it now. So uh, we'll get that done. Hopefully we can race these things once all said and done. Let's do it. <laughs> Working as a team. I love it. So <laughs> I think what we should do is tackle that seat. She's rock hard. We're going to have to peel that cover off of there. I want to investigate. This got the old school steel latches. Of that just like the old Corvettes, the stingrays and stuff, it's got the steel bar to hold the hood up. And you look in here, and it's like, Well, I see the clutch, where's the motor? Look down over in here, looks like a freaking electric motor. Like, I've never seen anything like that. It's got one spark plug up in here. This is a 528 cc Wankel <laughs> rotary engine, like Mazda RX7s, right? So, this thing, it's a kind of the Cadillac of its day, too. Like, this has almost every single option you could get. It's got electric start, it's got neutral, forward, reverse, high beam, low beam. Check this out, Jim. <laughs> this sled here, 1973, top of the line. This sled was made when men were men, beer was cold, and everything came with a cigarette lighter. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like lighting your smoke right beside your freaking carburetor, too. That was your crotch heater there. <laughs> Every time you get up, you just reek of gas and oil. Why not put a freaking lighter right beside that? <laughs> gonna recover the seat, and then what are we gonna do? Uh, let's put that track on here. <laughs> put your mama's speed track on this. <laughs> yeah. uh, maybe. <laughs> give a shocker a go. <laughs> oh yeah, it'd be a shocker if we could get that track on there. <laughs> this thing, you know, everybody thinks that all this new technology and stuff this day and age is uh, something new, but this is 1973. <laughs> got reverse, electric start, cigarette lighter, you know, the neutral. I pop her in the neutral and you can rev the, you can rev the snot out of it and she won't go nowhere. It's got a little pin. If you take a look here, Jim, it's got this bracket here and there's a pin that goes into the center. You freaking pull that, pops her in, she locks it. So when you rev her up, the clutch doesn't engage. Boom. Like, how they figure this stuff out, you know, everybody thinks that, you know, whoa, back in the, we're way smarter than they were back in the day. I don't think so. But even though it does have the electric start, still has the pull cord. It's not like, uh, remember that ski whiz that I had, that Massey Ferguson? It had freaking steel cable pull cord. <laughs> this one, and it's weird too, because the compression stroke and stuff, like it's because it's a rotary, you don't get the like thud, thud, like you do on the Bravo. It's just like a smooth, it's weird. Oh, yeah. At least they got the pull cord on there because you know, it's got the Wankel engine in it. So you could tug your Wankel. <laughs> this is Evan Rude, made in Peterborough, I believe, not far from us at all. And there was the other, the Johnsons were basically the same. I think it was a Johnson, the Phantom or something like that. But I mean, they're pushing the innuendos a little bit far there, putting a Wankel in your Johnson. <laughs> And uh, I didn't realize this had a rotor in it until I looked under in the trunk. Look at that! <laughs> that's called 
Let's call grandpa. This is probably his sled. <laughs> I guarantee most of you haven't even seen one of those before. <laughs> so there ain't a whole lot going on in here. We got some, you know, coil solenoid. I'm guessing an early version of a CDI box. <laughs> Got some speaker wire cable for the uh, ground. Uh, Uncle Mark had a battery in there out of his watercraft, but uh, linked up with uh, my buddy Philip and Chris, the batteries expert, uh, and they're hooking me up with a battery to put in this. And well, we got batteries for a little bit of everything. Let me show you. <laughs> so those fellas there at Batteries Expert were uh, gracious enough to hook me up with one of these Bolt AGM absorbed glass mat batteries. It's a little bit on the big side for this, but I mean, the price is right. They're great fellas to deal with. Uh, they're out of Pickering, not too far from us. So I'll try and put a link in the description there. If you guys want to check out good prices on batteries and stuff, give them a call or go to their website. They got a wide variety. You can get batteries for everything. This one here, I've got the exact same one in my Yamaha Viking. Cranks are over, no problem. Check out the weight on that though, baby. Oh yeah, it's pretty heavy. Pretty heavy, eh? Mm -hmm. They also hooked me up with one of these anti-gravity lithium ion batteries. This thing weighs nothing. That right there, I was gonna put it, I did have it in your mama for the radar runs. Might be a secret why she was so fast. Saving weight. But we're gonna put this bad boy in Christina's Vixen because it doesn't like to crank too well. This here, 680 cranking amps. Almost double the stock battery, so good upgrade. Hmm. It's well worth the investment. If you want to save some weight, go fast and get more power, check it out. So not only can you get, you know, lightweight batteries for your race rigs or anything like that, the regular batteries, they do your cars, trucks, all that. They even do the batteries for cordless tools. Like that right there, that's a replacement for the Milwaukee 18 volt, you know, and order right from them. Like less than half the price of buying them through the stores. Super handy dandy that way. I mean, they got batteries for all your toys. You know, the kids' toys for Christmas, watches, all that. Any toy you can think of, they got batteries. Got uh, batteries for my toys? Yeah, they got batteries for your toys too. <laughs> <laughs> well, but I mean, this thing is, it's all complete. Everything's here. Stevie did have it running, I'm pretty sure, before he brought it over here. He's got some pre-mix VP. I don't know if it's 50 to one or whatever. Uh, fuel in there so it's good to go that way so basically we just got to get a battery in her see if we can flame her up we gotta i think i'm gonna replace the wood on that seat too because she's looking a little bit rotten so we'll get that uh, the new seat going on here <laughs> we'll literally bolt that in there <laughs> i made up a bracket we'll get that in and then uh see if she flames up so you're gonna put the battery in babe yep goes back here right <laughs> yeah, yeah, just stuff it in there. Good to go. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. Let's all unbolt the seat, get it ready for you, because we have some nice new... Yeah, <laughs> yeah come on, Vanna. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh, <ooh. laughs> So we got this stuff. Mm. This is nice marine grade blue. It's not exactly a match for it, but I mean, it's way better than what's on there. So it'll be yeah. nice, and, uh, nice and comfy. We'll pull that off, get you going on... Uh, Re-covering the seat. Okay. <laughs> I'll bolt the battery in and uh, see if we can get her fired up. In the process of recovering the seat, Jim's inspecting the chain case. Thought it might be a good idea. Looks like this thing's been running on mud. <laughs> Jeez, look at it, eh? Chocolate milkshake. Mm-hmm. Looks good. Little. Needs a bit of an adjustment. Maybe a brake cleaner out, and we'll hit her with some fresh oil there, Jim. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like bicycle chain, eh? <laughs> yeah, 
<laughs> she needs a little bit of love. And Stevie, there wasn't a drop of oil in here. <laughs> oh, we're gonna get her tuned up. Got the seat recovered. That's looking Mwah, chef's kiss right there. <laughs> Even put a little bit of material on the handlebars there. Recovered the, uh, the little cubby door. Nice one. Well, I gotta say, with this custom upholstery, she's looking mint. The only option this thing's actually missing now is a cup holder, but I think we can help it out with that. <laughs> oh, there you go. Look at that. Built-in cup holder. Nice one. As if today couldn't get any better, not only do we have the old Emrude looking mint, but we also got a package in the mail from the United States from a fella, Scott Fox, who just happens to be a fan of the channel and an award-winning NASCAR engine builder and a part of a team. You might have heard of him, Hendrick Motorsports. <laughs> Apparently, he's a fan of the channel, you know, loves the videos, loves what we're doing. Sent us a little care package to go along. I guess I don't have to use an old Newfie Loctite anymore. He gave me a package, all kinds of Loctite, some assembly lube, all that stuff, and a water bottle. <laughs> Maybe a beer bottle. <laughs> Matches the old Devon Rude mint color scheme and everything. Number five, Kyle Larson, Hendricks Motorsports. Oh, thanks, buddy. I really appreciate the support and, you know, the little care package and all that. And, you know, just a small town guy from Ontario, you know, being followed by an actual NASCAR race team. <laughs> it's pretty mint. We got her all laid out. Worked out pretty good. I mean, we're not professionals here. I mean, she's got a couple of wrinkles, but I mean, she's an old girl. She's going to have some wrinkles, right? Lift her up. Oh. Even covered the bottom side of her, so she's a nice clean look. Got the battery mounted in there. She's nice and secure. Got some cranking amps. Should fire this thing up, no problem. Billy's got her all put back together. She's all cleaned out, filled up with some good clean oil. We even checked this gearbox here. It's all, all topped up, good to go. This thing is cleaning up pretty nice. And then checking out, like, look at the bumper on this thing. Somebody, that can't be stock, I'm pretty sure. Somebody welded that on after the fact. That looks the same size hitch as my freaking Cummins. But uh, look at the track on this thing. 20 and a half inches wide. <laughs> Not much of a lug on it, but it's got some signs of a little bit of dry rot, but she looks like she's good to go. We could take her on tour with that, I think. I forgot too, when uh, Mark first dropped it off, uh, that light was working, but she ain't working right now. So uh, called up the good fellas at Napa and I think they got me a new one. It was working when he first dropped it off but I was I was trying to see if I could get the cigarette lighter working and as soon as I was messing around with the wiring for that this uh, stopped working so I think I popped the headlight. So we're gonna swap it out. Look at that. Like, that's the same freaking headlight. That would be in a car. <laughs> Our buddies at Napa? No problem. Brand new. CLD, maybe. <laughs> All right, Jim. Oh, oh, oppa. Oh, we even got high beam, low beam. Nice one. Oh, you got to get a shot of that out front. Oh, mint. <laughs> Well, Billy, you did a great job cleaning her up. Look at this, sweetheart. Now, I'm pretty sure the Evan Root stickers, I think uh, Troy made those up on his sticker machine or something like that for Stevie there. So I don't think they're original, but they look mint on there. This thing, look at that, RC35Q. And you can kind of read it. There you go, quiet. I think it's time to find out if it is quiet. It is pretty quiet. <laughs> it's quiet right now. Oh, that turned out mint. Put a little bit of the material on the handlebars there. Rewrap the door. Got the seat looking beauty. All right, Jim. Now, supposedly this thing should run. We got the battery hooked up. Everything's good. I got her in neutral so we can rev her up. Uh, we got the primer. Ignition. <laughs>
it's time to take this thing for a rip. But uh, the plan was to run this against the Bravo, you know, maybe do a little bit of a vintage race. But uh, Billy took the Bravo for a bit of a rip and uh, had to go get it with the Viking towed home. So something wrong with the carburetor again on that. I think there's something going on with the float, uh, just like it keeps running out of fuel. So Christina could ride this one. I'm going to take my starting fluid here and uh, go see if my other enticer will fire up. Yeah, geez, the pathway out back's all freaking mud. But uh, <laughs> we might get one last little ride out there. Once Christina gets here, we'll go for a ride. This thing here, I have not started this in, uh, well, geez, a year or so. <laughs> you know, it's been a while. Look, there's something growing right out of the freaking footwell there. Nice one. I might just leave it there. The hood just falls off on this thing, so we'll just uh, we'll just let the hood rest there. Now this thing's pretty simple because this is the phaser motor I got in here, so we're just gonna pull oh, the boost tube out of there. Give her a little shot. Stick the boost tube back in there. Choke on, key on. I'm gonna put the brake on just in case this thing revs up and <laughs> drives into the C can. Kill switch up. Oh, come on, baby. Oh, hey. Well, the old Evan Roo Trailblazer is good to go. Brand new seat. We got, you know, spruced her up a little bit. And uh, what do you think Steve's going to think of it? Oh, I think he's going to like it. He did a good job. <laughs> you think he'll let me keep it? <laughs> You're nice to me, Mike. <laughs> oh, well, maybe show him the secret we put in there under the seat. <laughs> Stevie, this is just for you. Oh, <laughs> that's a 16 pack right there. Every 1973 Evernerd Trailblazer should come equipped with the... That's a custom beer storage right there. <laughs> that's what you call a pleasure pack. Oh, like a sampler. We got a little bit of everything for... There's Jim's beer, my beer. There's a Paps Blue Ribbon. Keep your hands up, a PBR. <laughs> Twist a T for the missus. Looks like it's supposed to be in there. <laughs> right, it does. I'm pretty sure, you know, this is back in the day, you got the cigarette lighter in there, you got your beers under the seat. This is the this is the party wagon. Hopefully they won't explode in there. I got the seat lined with the material on the bottom side there. She's a good looking rig. I'm, you might even say it's a nice one. Shall we venture for a little ride out back, baby? Mm, let's try it out. <laughs> All right. Uh, I got to get ready too. You got your coat. Now, if I'm going to ride a vintage sled, you got to look the part too. Let's ride. <laughs> <laughs> All right, baby. <laughs> can you can you harness all 35 horsepower? <laughs> all right, baby, I'll get the other one over here. <laughs> it's seen some uh, some better days that's for sure <laughs> all right baby uh you want to follow me uh, back there we'll just go sure. slow on the way back yeah perfect yeah. all right baby <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
died. <laughs> <laughs> How was that? It runs better than I thought it was going to. All right. Yeah. She's a sweet old girl. We've got a little bit of mud on us. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, does this redneck dirty hands? Right. <laughs> Sorry, Stevie. You know, we're yeah. driving it through a little bit of mud, but I mean. We're mudding and uh, <laughs> going on the snow. <laughs> oh, yeah. That thing works freaking amazing. It's fucking gorgeous. It is, isn't it? <laughs> All right. Well, we might as well try and rip her around. Come on, Betsy. Mm. Uncle, please, let me keep it. I'm going to tell you to jump it off that hill. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'll get the enticer Oh, yeah, go. let's do that. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, ho, ho, ho. I don't know what's with this piece of junk. <laughs> it's just like, hey, man, season's over. <laughs> never had any story with this. Clean the carb for an eighth time. You know what? It was <laughs> flying down there, though. Yeah. Like, flying. <laughs> Mostly mud until you hit this <laughs> section, but we do have a little bit of the white gold uh, back here still, so... Like, look at the track, the path it leaves, eh? <laughs> the cleats on that track. Oh, man. That thing's awesome. <laughs> a bit of an edge there baby <laughs> <laughs> we don't really have much uh <laughs> conditions to go riding right i say we uh see what's under the seat <laughs> 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 what's your thank you <laughs> <laughs> would you like a a bunch frozen twisted tea <laughs> I'll give her a go. <laughs> well, I mean, you know what? She's an oldie, but a goodie. You know what? That thing runs like a top. You know, it's a little finicky with the choke. The, sometimes it dies out. We've got to hit it with the primer a little bit to mm. get her up and going. But it always starts. Turned out great. Recovering that seat. She looks mint. You did an mm. awesome job, baby. Yeah, oh, you guys helped too. <laughs> yeah, we helped a little bit. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know, it's the first time ever seeing a rotary snowmobile. You know, I've heard about them, never actually seen one in person. Then when Stevie said that he had it, it's like, I gotta do a video on this thing. <laughs> and it's awesome, you know, it actually rides mint, you know, <laughs> it's comfortable. It's way, rides way better than that thing. <laughs> <laughs> But I think my favorite part about it is the, uh, the beer holder. Yeah, that was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. Cheers. Ooh. 
<laughs> yeah, a little shaken up. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a fun one making this one a blast from the past, you know. Uh, some new snowmobile to me. I've never ever seen a rotary engine like that and uh, you learn something new every day. That thing's wild. Thanks Stevie. <laughs> so we appreciate everybody tuning in, subscribing, hitting the like and comment and everything. Going to our website, get, checking out the merch, supporting the channel. We love doing this. We want to make this our actual gig, you know, so I want to continue doing this channel and I want to do it with her. We're almost at 25,000 subscribers and you know, maybe one day we can make this our actual gig, you know, do this for a living. You guys are uh, helping us out, you know, buying the merch, supporting, watching the videos. Yeah, with the help of all you uh, subscribers to the channel there, this could be our gig full time one day, maybe. You know what? Doing this is way more fun and I'd love to spend every <laughs> single day with Christina having fun. But unfortunately, I think winter time season, pretty much over. You're looking at the, <laughs> the last little bit of snow around here yeah. and there's none in the forecast in the near future, so. I think we're gonna have to be doing some other projects. You know, I'm gonna be building that SRX, uh, turning your mama into a 700 triple is the plan. So stay tuned for that. We appreciate everybody tuning in and support and as always take reason. Cheers. <laughs>